your involvement with the community has led you to be a, a partner with one of the great organizations in all the land, with this, which is Hope Healthcare. Let's talk about how you first got involved with Hope Healthcare. Yeah, I think a lot of it goes to uh, you know our mission as a city of Fort Myers Fire Department to try to get out and meet more partners and collaboration. So when Councilman Watkins Brown actually uh, sent an email uh, saying that, hey, there's an organization that we need to connect with, and that was none other than Hope Pace. And, uh, quickly went on the site and just to kind of refresh my my mind of what they do and it's like wow this is a great connection there was sitting you know in front of us the whole time so this is just a great opportunity for us as a fire department to be able to there again collaborate in partnership with the organizations that's doing amazing things and has been doing amazing things for years and years and years mm -hmm. um, we have the unique uh, opportunity for our folks to be able to go out into the community and and see p uh, people and, and engage with our community engage with our folks and there's times when we run multiple calls at you know certain locations and we start thinking to ourselves what kind of help can we get these individuals mm -hmm. what can we do more for them that where they can stay in their home and continue to thrive and f flourish in their own environment so uh, places like this hope pace and what they do just fits right along with what we do so this collaboration this partnership is pretty organic it's pretty natural in a sense very beautiful uh, especially when you start getting emails from Councilwoman Teresa Watkins Brown. That's huge. <laughs> Holly, plugging you, Teresa. Ward one. Okay, Brian, you're the director of Hope Pace. We mentioned Hope Pace already. I want you to Sesame Street it for us. What is Hope Pace? Sure, thank you so much. It is a pleasure to be here today and a pleasure to be with the chief. And outdress me. <laughs> I don't know if that's possible. <laughs> I tried, but I don't know if it's possible. So Hope Pace is a division of Hope Healthcare Services and Hope Hospice, which has been a staple in our community for so many years. And Hope Pace stands for Program of All-Inclusive Care for mm. the Elderly. And that's exactly what we do. We team up with family members in our community to keep their loved ones staying here, mm -hmm. right here in our Fort Myers community, all through Lee County, in Charlotte, and also in Collier County as well. And we do that really by providing an all-inclusive care package that takes care of all of their needs in order for them to stay home. We provide the medical care, we provide transportation, we provide supportive services, socialization in one of our five day centers, and all the things that they need to keep them living safely in their home. Mm -hmm. Home care services, um, and really partner with the family to provide that. Is it fair to say that you hope Pace is the leader in the region in providing that service? Well, we take our job seriously, and so we try to do our our best for our community and for our neighbors and so we strive to lead the way every single day for for this community how do you define the elderly in your uh, is there age that you cut off age and up Go sure ahead. so 55 years and older is oh man you're fired. killing me man <laughs> i'm the elderly now I, oh my goodness i'm the elderly man i, I think there's some other qualifications no, not there <laughs> god come on brian let me digest this <laughs> Whew, pretty darn close, Time Brian. Flew by. <laughs> yeah. Go ahead, man. Well, now I'm sweating because I, this is your too? show. You're not the elder yet, right? I'm, I'm coming close. Okay, I'm go ahead. I'm coming close, so <laughs> I'm right there with you. But I think, you know, it's really for folks who want to stay living in the community and need some support to do that. And um, I think the best part about what we do is for the majority of our folks, it is a free care service to them. And in some, in some facets, actually puts additional money in their pocket when they are new qualifiers for Medicaid. Mm -hmm. When you say free care service, I'm going to go to you, uh, Lisbeth. What are some of those services? We are so committed to making sure that people can, can participate in this program and stay at home. And there are, we have a clinic where they can get their medical visits taken care of. They can see primary care physicians. They can see therapists. There is a socialization aspect of it. And we can help coordinate the care that they're receiving even before they come into our program. Mm -hmm. It's very important for folks to know that they don't have to leave their medical home to participate in the PACE program. I'm gonna come back to you on this, Brian. Once you tap into Hope PACE, you guys take it from there. You are one-stop shop to fit everybody in all of these places that Elizabeth just talked about. And even if there are there any more that she may have missed out on? No, I think she covered a lot of them. Um, we do the transportation to and from all the outside appointments. We coordinate all the uh, appointments for them with the families. We make sure all their care needs are taken care of both in their home and then the socialization aspect in one of our five centers. And so once they join the PACE program, we're able to help them stay in this community and be part of that community. And 
stay with us right through the end of life. And so they don't need to learn a new team. They don't get to a point where in that most intimate moment, if they're nearing end of life, they have to go learn a new program or a new team or a new telephone number. We're able to layer those services right onto everything else that we do and provide that great hospice care towards the end mm -hmm. of life. Now, the partnership with the city of Fort Myers Police Department, Elizabeth, tell us why that's important and how that really benefits the movement. It is no secret that Chief McMillian is doing an amazing job. His entire department is very focused on community outreach engagement and there isn't anywhere you go in our town that people don't know about those efforts. So to have his teams on the ground all the time, responding to the calls as he mentioned, seeing who's in need of help, seeing where there are caregivers who need to leave the home every day to go to work, it's a great opportunity for him to connect us with those families so that the caregiver can be productive and live their life and know that mom or dad or their grandparents are home at, are at home safely taken care of or they're spending the day in a very social atmosphere at one of our centers. Mm -hmm. It's a natural partnership as the chief has mentioned and it's very rewarding to make those connections.